Okay, so we're going to take a look at some scratch animation and motion. So go into your scratch, go to create, and let it just create a project. And first thing, as always, give your give your thing a name. So I'm going to call it animation and motion. And what we're going to look at today is uh, is uh, using loops to help us uh, animate our projects. So firstly, we we'll start the motion. Um, I've got a cat here. Cat is no interesting, so I will click and choose a sprite. Uh, you can hold your mouse over the sprite to see which ones have motion. Uh, I'm going to go for a Avery walking. So Avery is going to walk from left to right here. So in order to do that, I need to uh, first off just make a when this is clicked button. So um, when this is clicked, now bear in mind when I say motion, this is predetermined. We're not going to use our arrows to direct it. We'll do another video on that another day. So when this is clicked, when the go arrow is clicked, I want her to walk from left to right. So first thing I need to do is to tell her her starting point. So I'm going to tell her go to this. Now, how do I know those coordinates? Well, what you do is if you drag your character and drop them, you'll see that the coordinates appear down here. And if you actually go over here, it automatically changes it for you, which is quite nice. So I'm going to have her start in those coordinates. And she's going to walk across the screen. So I want her to end up going to here, let's say. So I'm going to just drag that there to show you. You can see how the numbers of the X and Y have changed. So if we just do that, what happens? Well, she just ends up at the end. Right, let's let's just try then uh, have a think about that. What's happening? It's doing the first thing, then it's doing the second thing, but it's not, it's just doing them straight after each other. So we can't even see it. So we need to put a little bit of a wait. So I'm going to say start at the beginning, wait a second, and then go to here. Okay, cool. So it's not really moving, though. I mean, it's kind of lame. So what we'll do is, instead of just saying go to it, we're going to use our command, and I'm doing it in motion. We're going to say glide. So glide to this one. And that's nice. Let's see this. Okay. A bit fast. Got to slow it down. I'm missing me. Ooh, that's way too slow. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's a little bit more normal from left to right. But we've, like, we haven't done any, it doesn't look like she's walking. It just looks like she's gliding, as it says. So let's try, uh, add some uh, uh, coding to make it look like she's animated. So if we go into costumes, so at the top left here, you see costumes, you'll notice that Avery has four costumes, A, B, C, and D. And moving through those costumes will make it look like she's walking if you play them fast enough. So what we're going to do when it starts, we're also going to create a second uh, when clicked. So this will happen simultaneously. And what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, you are going to change costumes. So we go to looks and we go switch costume to costume A, then switch to costume B, and then switch, switch to costume C and D. So let's drag these out. C and D. And we run it. And it just uh, kind of looks like she's gliding on one foot, I think. So what's going on there? Oh, I know what she's doing. She's doing A, B, C, D, but she's doing it straight away. So she's just jumping all the way to D and staying there. So we need to put in another weight. So if we put in a weight after each costume change, now there she goes. It looks a bit more like she's moving, but not really. So let's cut that weight down. Let's say 0 0.25. We'll say quarter of a second for each one um, and again you can just play with the numbers here but a quarter of a second is a nice easy one to work with there we go that looks pretty good oh wait hold on she just glides on one foot what are you doing Avery why are you gliding on one foot are you on an ice skating rink where did you go oh I know what's happening it's done this it's done costume A costume weighted costume B weighted costume C weighted costume D but it needs to go back to costume A so I could just put another costume A after and continue and do that but it's going to be a disaster. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use a loop, a loop. And in this case, we use a loop, we use repeat. So what you do is you bring a repeat out. I'm going to drag this into the repeat. And then I need to make sure to add the repeat back onto when this is clicked. Now, there she goes. Oh, wait, something funky is happening. Let's see that again. Looks like she double, doubles her foot. Can we see what's wrong? Oh, I know what it is. I need a wait after costume D because it has to wait before it goes back to the first costume. Now let's see it. Oh, that looks smooth. Smooth Avery. Oh, stop walking. Are oh, you hitting a wall? Oh, it's embarrassing for her. 
So how do we fix that? Well, this is where you have to do a little bit of maths. Not too hard maths though, and you can make it easy for yourself. There's four costume changes, A, B, C, D. I've given each of them a quarter of a second. So this whole bit from the top purple one down to this bit here should take one second. So how many times do we want to repeat that? Well, if we're gliding for three, then we want to repeat it for three. Okay, so let's see. Just walk and walk and walk and walk and walk and walk and stop. Hey, awesome. Okay, so that's how you get someone to do some motion, do some animation. Now, if you want to add a second figure, uh, let's choose, uh, you know, let's go with the bear. And the bear is going to walk from the other direction. So he's going to start here and go to the left. He's going to go the other way. So before we even get started, I'm just going to see his costumes. Oh, he's got eight costumes. Okay. I'm just going to go in here and you can actually just see there's a little flip horizontal button. And I'm going to go through all his costumes and flip them the other way. Now, actually, I'm not because that's a lot of work. But that's one way you could do it, and then you could program it come left, right. The other way is to use the code. So when this is clicked, we're going to tell him to look, and we're going to say, din, 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 din. Uh, say hello, where's the look? Go forward. Oh, no, it's a motion. Sorry, that's where I want to find it. I'm going to say point in direction 90. So let's have a look. So he's pointing 90 is to the right. Now, this is your circle. So 180, oh, they actually have it there. 180 would be down here, so let's see what happens. He kind of points that way. Minus 90. Yay, he's now pointing, oh, he's upside down. Okay, so we've used the code to help us, uh, to help us change it, but now, unfortunately, he is going to be uh, the wrong way. Now, you can add in a rotation. Hey, set rotation style left, right. So now he is now the, the right way. You can say all round which is back to the way he was, don't rotate, okay, which just fixes him back to the beginning, but left, right. So there you go. Actually, let's get rid of this. There you go. So instead of the point direction, we'll use the set rotation style. So that rotates him the other way. Nice little cool thing. You can, of course, do it in the costumes as well. That's the nice thing about coding. There's often more than one way to do it. Now, in order to get him to move, we're just going to follow Avery's instructions, but kind of the other way. So we'll start him here. We'll say motion. Uh, that's just go to that position. And you're going to glide for uh, four seconds. No, not to a random position. <laughs> glide for four seconds. He's a slow bear. To the other side. So I'm going to say minus 270, 237. Minus is to the left this way and plus is this way for the X. So we'll just see what happens. There he goes. Got a meter halfway. Cool. And we're going to duplicate this. I think I can drop this onto... Oh, there we go. Cool. I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it. Oopsie. So in the bear. Uh, now that's Avery. I don't need Avery. I need to check. That's no use to me now. So I actually just need to switch it. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Oh, yeah. Bear walk B. Bear walk C. Now you can do this manually. Um, that's totally fine. B, F. Now there's a lot of costumes here because we do want a, a realistic looking bear like I mean there's nothing more embarrassing than having a non-realistic bear in your video I mean people would be like oh that's just not great so uh, I'm going to do a quarter of a second for all of these as well now you're going to have to do some more maths in a while but don't worry the maths keep the maths simple for yourself I use a quarter because you can count up in quarters you know what I mean? you know there's four quarters in a whole um, so let's see how it looks though he might need to move a bit faster to look a bit more natural so let's just have him repeat that for three. Hey, he's a bit slow. You know what? I'm going to do each of these as an eighth of a second. Why did I choose an eighth? Because there's eight costumes. It went all the way to H. So I'm going to do each of them as an eighth of a second. That's 1.25. If you don't know that, put it in your calculator. Okay. Use Google. I mean, you don't need to memorize these numbers. Uh, ding, ding, ding. But I'm having the best time typing. You're having the best time watching me type. There we go. Okay, let's try run that. There. Oh, look at that bear. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, wait, I've got two. That's this might be better. Oh, that's a much more natural looking bear. Uh, okay, cool. And um, he could repeat that for four seconds, really, couldn't he? Because I mean, she got four. She got. There we go. Oh, that's cool. And we've added some motion and animation for two separate sprites. 
And just to bear in mind, make sure, bear in mind, <laughs> just to keep it in mind, make sure to keep their code to each individual sprite. But that should get you started on how to animate and move things in your, uh, in your, in your uh, Scratch projects.